What's up guys, it's Echo and, and today I wanted to talk about combat arms and uh, make CA great again theme that is going on right now where they are talking about doing a graphics update and a lot of people are quite happy that the game is going to get an overhaul graphic update but there are many many things that are very annoying about combat arms and the graphics update, I mean it will make everything seem, I mean you'll be focusing on the updates so everything else would seem well well downplayed and stuff like that. But in truth, Combatams has many flaws, many annoying things with it. First of all I want to talk about clipping. There are too many things that you can clip on in Combatams. Every little thing you get stuck on it. I know a lot of you guys have experienced that. I know it's not just me. There are a lot of things that you can hide behind and people cannot see you. Small items like uh, a flower pot with a little tree. There is a couple of them all around the map. There, especially in, in short fuse. There are flower pots that you can hide behind. And, and you can... Uh, And you can shoot people in short fuse and they, they won't be able to see you. Also, um, in Kill Creek, the rails, you always get stuck on it. As long as you jump and it's like, I'm not sure if it's an it's a, it's a, it's a issue with lag or it's an issue with just the whole engine of combat arms, the Jupiter engine or whatever is its name but that's really annoying also fall damage there is an issue with fall damage in combat arms you could be just running down a step i know it might have to compensate the height when you run down a step and your body not touching the step while you're running down but sometimes you do make contact with the step and you still lose sometimes i lose about 50 hp just running down kill creek steps or in oil rig the one that leads down to the the canteen area that's one of the most annoying steps to run down because that's where usually i get my multi kills because that's like the best flank when everybody is looking looking at the canteen area so it basically just ruins the whole flank by you losing like 30 hp 40 hp it doesn't matter as long as you lose health that's a big issue um Round start. and that's that's mainly the issue here i mean the overpowered weapons i mean we know about that already that's been there since 2012 they basically crushed combat arms by introducing those types of weapons and making them basically elite weapons because not everyone can have them only people want to spend a certain amount of money on the game so they made it basically a elite weapon and now just think of that they removed spec items from in the shop but guess what people who bought them already still have them which basically make those weapons overpowered because only certain people have them and if certain people have them it makes it an elite weapon which makes it rare very rare actually and those bouncing betties we call a hornet um, people have that and it's like it's overpowered because there's only a certain amount of people have it the loaded the loaded gun things um i played counter, counter strike um so it's not really a big deal for me i'm a customer of getting slowed down when i get shot in in in, in cs go so it's it's not really a big big issue for me but i mean playing combat times it's it gets quite annoying thank god they they are removing it but they're still trying to sell it to you to make sure that they make the money on it before they remove it the other stuff that are getting removed i said cases and uh, the passes they're trying to change it up a little bit most likely the respawns unlimited respawns that has to go because that ruins accolades guys usually use that just to get a revenge like you come and if in case you get a like a ultra kill and you're near spawn the person just clicks f7 and one time they're back in the game and they kill you before you could get your fantastic and your unbelievable and it just gets annoying with that f7 so 
last thing I want to talk about is the update, the graphics update that we all have been waiting for. So it seems like we're all not going to get the update tomorrow, which is the 21st. It's, it's kind of going to go through a better phase. I'm not even sure if they have textured every map as yet, which is quite annoying that you would tease an update and you're like not, not really quite finished or even halfway through texturing every single map or the most important maps or whatever but we know that oil rig and um junk flea are textured but one thing i want to point out is that if you look very closely the, um, the textures are bright they look like you ever played um call of duty nuketong how all the textures are just popping and it it starts to be so vibrant that it doesn't even feel like you're playing a military shooter anymore it starts to feel like you're playing one of those kids games for a game from steam or whatever um it, it's just it looks popping it's eye popping and um i think that might be a factor there if the if the the colors are just too popping it means that you stand out more, your, your, your camos and all the stuff would not make sense, which they already don't make any sense because nobody actually plays those maps where you need camos. They don't play the dark forest. They don't play the bush. Watch bush. I, I, well, the, the, one, the map with the plane crash in it. They don't play these maps anymore. Kill Creek. If in case you try to make the, the colors too vibrant, then... You basically can't hide anymore. And I basically use the character called L, the summer edition, and she's white as fuck already. So it's gonna be really annoying to have those textures be so popping and stuff like that. Um that can really be a a factor there making those textures too eye popping. Um so as I said, the update might be a set of people that are going to to be um, like given keys or you can win keys or whatever it's gonna be a selected few they're gonna be testing the up the um, update most likely we're gonna have a patch and the patch is gonna have a, a new in the new interface most likely will be coming before the, the the whole texture pack but the new interface comes and it has something where you can put a key in it and you'll be able to activate the texture pack and it's not a composite thing so some people can be playing the game in the normal texture and some people will be able to play it in the new texture and which is a it's a bit it's a bit unusual but at the same time it helps other people who have worse computer run it at optimum performance so it's all good um that's basically all i wanted to say just a quick little rant about the whole combatant system revamp and you know just thank you guys for watching um if you stayed that long um watch the video that long um leave a comment say anything and um in 24 hours i'm gonna do a giveaway of a random steam key free steam key so you'll be eligible for that so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and stay royal